Hello everyone, no chocolate birds here for another video review. This time we have the limited edition McVitie's Strawberry Jaffa Cakes. So there we go, so um, brilliant stuff. I think I've just recently, maybe in the past month or two, done the um, <clears throat> the lemon and lime version. I think I don't think that's a limited edition one though, but uh, this one at least is limited edition. Um, so they have done, uh, you basically for years and years really, McVitie's just did orange Jaffa Cakes, hence the name Jaffa. Um, but yeah, recently they've just come out with a couple of other flavours, and maybe maybe it's because there's lots of um, European imports we're getting in the UK now, and uh, um, you know, ones that I know of um, are the uh, sort of e e Videl, um uh, Jaffa cakes that they do, and they do a, a, an abundance of different flavours. Really, you know, um, <laughs> just 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 the way it is. They don't just do orange 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 ones. Um, yeah, so I guess I don't know. McVitie's recently have just been doing different flavours, and uh, I don't know why it's taken them so long. Really, um, you know, they've probably done. Maybe a lemon and lime one before, I think, but uh, I don't know. I've not, I've not, I don't remember them really being that prolific with issuing new flavours. So it's good that they are doing. It. And uh, here's the strawberry one. I was tipped off by a friend, um, yeah, a friend online actually about these, um, just randomly. Um, you know, uh, was just told about them really, wasn't? It? So I was quite lucky really. And uh, yeah, I think they were only in Tesco's, I think. But I searched for them in Tesco's about a month, three weeks ago, and couldn't find them. And uh, I was just happened to be back in Tesco and found them. So. There we go. Don't think they're available anywhere else. I'm not sure. Um, for the moment, at least. But there we go. Yeah. So, good stuff. <laughs> so, clearly, um, yes. Uh, um, yeah, I think Jaffa. I think it's a place. Is it a place in the um, Middle East somewhere? It might be in Israel. might be somewhere along those lines. Not sure. Um, somewhere down that way, anyway. I think it's a place. And I think that's where the, orange, that's where the oranges come from. So, um, Well, maybe not for these, but some oranges are grown there. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows whether there are actually any oranges at all in uh, these traffic cakes? Might be, but um, well, there won't be any oranges in this one, will there? Well, you'd like not to think so. So there we go. So uh, yes, um, yes, it says ten light sponge cakes with dark crackly chocolate and a strawberry flavored center. So there we are. Um, you've got per cake calories and stuff. It's forty six calories, one gram of fat, 0.5 of which are saturates. So there we go. So it's roughly the same as what the orange ones are. I think the orange ones might be about fifty calories. I'm not sure, but. Um, so it says McVitie's Jaffa Cakes, light sponge cakes with a dark crackly chocolate and the strawberry flavoured centre, yeah, so it kind of does the, the official version here and the sort of like the more, sometimes the elaborate version there, but they're both the same. Um, made a weird stutter a second ago, sorry about that, I don't know what's going <laughs> can't speak properly today, I don't know what it is, maybe mouse watering too much. So on the, um, on the advertising campaign, they did a lot of these things, um, specifically a sort of full moon, half moon, total eclipse, where you'd eat one, you know, and it would change from a circle to a... You know, um, half moon and a total eclipse. You know, <laughs> the teacher in this case it was a teacher teaching a class about um, presumably the moon. He was using jaffa cakes for it, and they just would keep eating them basically. <laughs> but they've got these other ones as well, the all rounder. So it means you're sort of nibbling all around it. Yeah, I think that's what it says. Nibble around the edge, save the best to last. It says which jaffa cake eater are you? And this is number two. So there we go. I've seen some people, yeah, doing this and then take the top off and leave the little the jam section in the middle just till the end. So. <clears throat> There's various ways of doing it. <coughs> oh, frog in my throat as well today. Hope I'm not getting a cold. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so there we go. Um, yes, other than that, that's, that's about it really. Got barcodes on the other side, it's exciting. Nothing on the other side. I feel like they could have put something there, don't you? I mean, <laughs> it's unusual these days to have just nothing on the box, but uh, there we go, yeah, nothing. There we go. So if they were stacked up like that, you wouldn't know what they were. Um, could at least have a Jaffa cake or something there, couldn't they? <laughs> there we go. Right. There we go, not much more to say about that, so I think let's give them an open. There's ten cakes in this one. I'll say uh, there's a cake, not a biscuit, and I think the difference officially is uh, it's for tax purposes in the UK. Because I think um, I think cakes aren't taxed and biscuits are, or something like that, or there's different tax thresholds or something. Um, McVitie's tried to prove that uh, Jaffa Cake was a cake to avoid this tax, and uh, they proved it by saying that um, basically a biscuit goes soft when left out and the cake goes hard. Um, and I think that's possibly the official definition. I'm not sure, but that does happen to Jaffa Cakes, and uh, biscuits do go soft. There we go. So yeah, I do have this weird, you know, so there's, uh, there's ten in there, so you can see there's nine left in, plus this one I've taken out. This weird cake bit though at the bottom, it's not, I've not seen, I don't really know what it is really, it's very unlike anything else. Maybe you might see it on like a lemon drizzle cake or something on the, the edge of it, on the outside, but I don't know, it seems very, very strange. What does it say? Yeah, light sponge cakes. Yeah, dark crackly chocolate. I would say the sponge is crackly though, really. But there we go. So we're uh, basically the same as all the others. They've got this like raised dome in the middle. A bit of a UFO shape, aren't they, really? Um, yeah. 
Excuse me. Well, I mentioned them, but I'm sure they're exactly the same. So yeah, about diameter of about 5.3, 5.4 centimeters. Height to the middle is roughly 1.3. Around the edge is about 0.9, I think. Yeah, there we go. So we are on the actual uh, center. It looks to be around <clears throat> three and a half, three point six, three point seven centimeters in diameter. There we go. So let's give it a bit of a cut. I'll say you know that's basically what all Jaffa cakes look like. <clears throat> Sorry, this I've got a yeah, real um, frog in my throat today. Need a good cough, I think. So we go. Let's give it a bit of a cut. So it cuts quite softly. Um, you can see there. I've made no pretense actually trying to show the middle of the Jaffa cake actually in this one. Um, any e Vidal ones they do um, try to show the middle, and it's kind of a bit of false advertising because it looks. Um, you, you, well, when you cut it like this, it looks just red, if you know what I mean, or orange or whatever. But you clearly can see that actually the chocolate stops the colour coming out because um, it needs to be light going in and light coming out, and there isn't really any um, when cut like that. So, yeah, there is a bit on the side there, but you, still, you can't really see any of the strawberry there either. So I guess that's pretty commendable for McVitie's there for not um, doing any false advertising. Sort of, because <laughs> it's not really false by you know, Vidal or whatever, it's just the fact that you can't tell the colour from that. You have to sort of pick off the chocolate. Um, so if I do that... There we go, you can see a bit of... You see the, the fact it's strawberry now? See it's got a bit more of a red tint. It's easier to see in... Uh, this torch does any justice to it. They are slightly. There you go. There you go. Look at that. There you go. So there is red in there. So it just needs a bit of light. There you go. You get the picture. <laughs> it's a lot more redder in person than it is. Uh, well, I say it's a lot more redder. You can tell a lot easier, I think, off camera. There you go. I think you get the gist there. There we go. Right. Yeah. The so it's dark chocolate as well, which is uh, quite surprising. Um, suitable vegetarian, it says, so I guess there's no gelatin in it. Um, yeah, it does have some milk in it though, so it's not vegan, vegan friendly. Um, to search it, to find out how to how exercise and a balanced diet can help a healthy lifestyle, visit this, and it's got like a one two three healthy balance dot com. But the one two three seems to be ways of eating jaffa cakes as well. <laughs> Almost anyway, I thought that's what it was at first. Yeah, like the full moon, half moon thing. Um, I'm not sure, but anyway, there we go. Okay, let's give it a taste, shall I? Let's lift myself up. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Are we doing all right? Um, okay, so I think we should uh, just get straight to it. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Mm, not too bad. Um, <clears throat> yeah, mm. let's see. Hmm. I mean, the taste of strawberry is quite subtle, really. It's not very really strong at all, and um, I'm just wondering what what strawberry is actually in here. So, where uh, does it say? Um, strawberry, 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 strawberry. Is there any strawberry? I'm sure there must be some. Um, strawberry juice, concentrated strawberry, strawberry juice. Doesn't say how much though, but there is some in there. Um, hmm. I don't know. I mean, the strawberries just don't taste as much. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not too impressed with the taste. I don't think it tastes that great. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, basically, tastes, obviously everything else tastes as a regular Jaffa cake. So you've got that sort of quite nice. It is quite crackly, uh, dark chocolate on top. And it's quite nice. And the sponge isn't too bad. It's a bit dry. Uh, mm. That's a kind of dry sponge taste the Jaffa cakes always have. Um, but the sensor though, the actual strawberry sensor, I'm trying to peel away here carefully. <laughs> not doing very well. Um, yeah, I'm not, I've got a bit of a bit stuck on my finger here. So you can see, yeah, we can see there the, the redness of it as well. A bit of chocolate on the end, which is why the bottom bit isn't. But um, I'm just not. Hmm. It's okay, it's quite a subtle taste. I don't think. Again, I think like the lemon and lime ones, it just don't taste quite as nice as the uh, mm, regular Jaffa cakes. It's just not. Just don't think the uh, flavour is strong enough in the strawberry um, jelly, or whatever. It's just a bit too subtle. So you end up tasting too much of the cake and the 
of the cake really and I think that's not really the strong point of the Jaffa cake and that's sort of sponge bottom mm. it's okay I think it's, it's, it's a bit different than the regular Jaffa cake it gives a bit more variety but um, mm. it's just not as nice really and um, I think that's probably why they don't do other or versions of the Jaffa cake generally because they're just not as nice at least in the um, Mavitti's case um, I can't remember the, the red holes in that one now whether they were not better. they just had a different taste all round really so they kind of worked in a different way mmm mmm yeah they're okay yeah I mean strawberry though is a funny one really I think everyone thinks all oh, strawberry is the, you know, the, sort of the flavour to have um, and fruity things, but if you ever think of like you know jam that you have, you know strawberry jam doesn't taste as nice as raspberry jam, does it? And I don't, I don't think strawberries. I think you know you think strawberries are really good, and I don't think they really are that great a fruit, really. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I think um, hmm. just a bit too um, a bit too bland. I think is the is the problem with this. Um, they are nice. Quite happy eating them all, but I just think they're just not quite as nice as the orange flavour. Just it just isn't as strong enough for flavour, really. And that's kind of the problem with strawberries generally because they are quite a sort of an acidic fruit really. Um, you know, and I think it's just quite similar, you know. I don't think they're a million miles away from the from an orange taste, if you know what if that makes any sense really. And I think in order to try and stop that, you know, in this, they've sort of um, obviously made it sort of less sort of tangy. Um, you know, but I think that's the kind of the, the problem with it really, because it doesn't have that tang, it doesn't really stand out as much. And then it might just be quite too similar to the stru to the orange flavour really, but I don't think that'd be a problem. But um yeah, I think that's the thing, there's just no tang to it. Not much of one anyway. Hmm. So you really just come away with just tasting most of the cake. Because you just don't get that initial tang taste, you know, sensation. Um you just so as I say, you just mainly taste cake really. And the cake is really just consistency in the, in the Jaffa cake. And in most things, in most of these cake bars or cake related things, you know, the sponge usually is okay, but generally it's just a filler, isn't it? You know, it's not usually taste as much. Um, yeah, so I don't know. They're okay, these. I think a three out of five, I think. A bit difficult to, um, they're not unpleasant or anything. A bit, un a bit disappointing, a bit underwhelming. But I think it'd be hard to say they're sort of like, you know, horrible or below average. Um, but yeah. Not as good as regular Jaffa cakes anyway, um, but a nice, a, a nice sort of variant, a nice bit of, you know, something to try um, separately. Um, but yeah, just not quite as good unfortunately. But there we go. So three out of five. <laughs> okay, guys, if you enjoyed that review, uh, follow me to subscribe, like my videos, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. See you later. Bye for now. See ya.